Hey everyone, my name is Braden. In this video, we're going to go over how to remove or drop duplicate data. So first off, we're going to want to import pandas as PD, and I've created a little data frame here with duplicate data. So we'll run that and go over it real quick. So here we see the first two rows are entirely duplicated, and then there's duplicated data throughout. If we're wanting to drop entire rows of duplicate data, we can do that by saying df.drop duplicates. So here we see that that second row of duplicated data was dropped. We also notice that case or capitalization matters. And it looks at the entire row and not just single values and columns. The default behavior of drop duplicates is to keep the first row of duplicate data. If we wanted to keep the last row of duplicate data, what we can do is specify keep equals and then in quotation marks last. So now we see that index zero was dropped and we are left with the rest of the indexes there. If you didn't want to keep any duplicate data, what we can do is specify keep equals false. And then all the duplicate data is dropped from the data frame. So here we see that index position zero and one have both been dropped from the data frame. We're not keeping any duplicate data. There are two other arguments we should be aware of. First, if you want to re-index your data frame, so it starts at zero and doesn't skip the index positions that were removed, we can specify the argument ignore index equals true. And then we see that our data frame has been re-indexed. Also, if you want to keep your changes, you'll want to specify in place equals true. Because I have more examples to show you, I'm not going to keep that. But just to be aware, if we look at our data frame, none of these changes are made permanent unless we specify in place is equal to true. If we're only concerned about duplicates in a specific column, we can drop based on that column. So it's a similar process, df.drop duplicates. In this case, we'll include the argument subset and set it equal to the column that we're interested in. So let's say, column one. So here we see that any duplicate value in column one have, has been dropped. So rows in index position one, three, and seven have all been removed from the data frame. If we're looking to drop duplicate data based on matching multiple columns, we can specify that with the subset argument as well. Instead of passing a single column name, we'll pass a list of column names. So let's say column one and column two. We'll run that. Here we see that the row at index one was dropped. We might have expected that any duplicate data in column one would have been dropped and any duplicate data in column two would have been dropped. But we see in column one that there are still multiple ones left in the column. So it's important to note when we are using multiple columns, that what pandas is doing is looking at duplicates of those two columns, not duplicates in each column separately. We can see this more clearly if we look at columns three and four. Because column three and column four have more duplicate data, more rows are dropped. If you don't want to drop duplicates and just want to find out where those duplicates are located, I have another video on that. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. Otherwise, thanks for watching.